Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to study about the next points in the chapter you know, formal languages. So the next point is operations on languages. Okay. So there are different operations which can be used to perform on the languages. Okay. In last lecture, we studied about the languages. Okay. Uh, languages and grammars. Okay. So there are different types of uh, grammars are available in that first one is uh, type 0 type 1 type 2 and type 3 okay type 0 is unrestricted grammar type 1 is context sensitive grammar type 2 is context free grammar and type 3 is regular grammar okay so we studied about that in detail in last lecture so the next one is operations on languages okay so the operations which are performed on the languages are Union, concatenation, and star. Okay, so you know uh, all about the union concatenations in your mathematics. So A union B is equal to X, where X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Okay, that means the addition of the uh, elements from the set A and set B. Okay, addition means uh, the elements which are present in a set A and set B, okay? Then second one is concatenation, that is A dot B, okay? Union is denoted by this symbol, okay? That is U type symbol. And concatenation, concatenation is denoted by dot, okay? The, so A dot B is equal to X, Y, where X belongs to A and Y belongs to B, okay? Where X is in set A and Y is from set B. Then star, okay, star is denoted by this symbol, that is A star is equal to X1, X2, X3 up to XK, where K is greater than or equal to 0 and X belongs to A, okay. So, the K value greater than 0, okay. So, for example, A is equal to PQ, comma R, okay, that is the elements which are present in the set A, PQ, and another element is R and in set B, it pre presents the elements that is T and UV, okay? So these are the two sets A and B. Then the operations performed on that particular sets are A union B, okay? That means all the elements from set A and set B, okay? Just see here PQ comma R, okay? These two elements are, are from set A and the elements T comma UB, which are from set B. Okay, that is A union B. This is the first operation. Then second operation is concatenation A dot B, which is equal to, which is the combination of the uh, elements from the set A and set B. Okay, that is PQ T, then PQ UV. Okay, that is the combination with all the elements from two sets. Okay, that is PQ, T, PQ, UV, then R, T, and R, UV. Okay, the Pratek terms are the combination. Okay, so the last operation is star. Suppose I am taking here A set, so A star is equal to epsilon. Epsilon means null value. We just take null value. By using that null values, we return epsilon. Okay, so the next one is PQ. Okay, then R separately. Japan he separately suda kya ho shokto. Mujhe ata he A star mujhe kaya hai ki mahe chamade hi to tumala he equation kaya di lila hai. Tere chamade suppose jar A star gainer a cell. Tere chamade A mujhe je kahi elements hai A ya set mujhe. Tere tensor different combination. Apan he chamade kya karu shokto? He generate karu shokto at any time or at the time you want to use that particular elements. Okay, so first one is PQ, suppose another one is R, then here PQR, okay, then RPQ. combination the particular data elements okay? Then PQ, PQ, repeatedly used. Suppose RR, then see this last one, RR, PQ, PQ, PQ. Okay, so you just not use at QP, okay? So, the QP, so to me, reverse gave you a data element, PQ, 
ओके सो त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला ऍज इट इज युज करावे लागेल सपोज तुम्ही आर आर पी क्यू असंही युज करू शकता किंवा आर पी क्यू आर पी क्यू असंही त्याच्यामध्ये जेवढे त्याच्यामध्ये कॉम्बिनेशन बनवता येतील तेवढे कॉम्बिनेशन या स्टार मधून आपण बनवू शकतो ओके दॅट इज दी अनादर ऑपरेशन स्टार ओके सो दीज आर द्री ऑपरेशन विच आर परफॉर्म ऑन दी लँग्वेजेस दॅट इज युनियन कॉन्कॅटिनेशन अँड स्टार सो सपोज देर इज अन अनादर एक्झाम्पल suppose there is a set a which contains the values suppose a b okay and in set b it contains x and y okay so a union b a union b is equal to okay that means all the combinations from the set a and b or all the elements from the two sets okay so this is the a union b it is the elements from set a and from set b then a dot b which is equal to the combination of the elements from set a and set b suppose this is the first a okay then a a and from set b which is x okay then from set a we take a and from set b y okay that is ax ay then bx by okay this is a dot b and last one suppose a star then all the combinations of a and b suppose i am taking a it also accepted i am taking b it is accepted suppose a b it is accepted then b a it is accepted suppose a a b it also accepted suppose b a a accepted okay that means any combination as you want infinite combinations of the elements from the particular set are accepted here okay so these are the three operations performed on the languages okay so the next point is the theorems which are depends upon the operations the class of regular languages is closed under union and the another theorem is the class of regular languages is closed under concatenation ओके आता याच्यामध्ये हे दोन काय आहे तर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बघा द मीन्स दॅट इफ वी हॅव टू रेग्युलर लँग्वेजेस ए अँड बी इफ वी परफॉर्म युनियन ऑपरेशन ऑन ए अँड बी देन द रिझल्टंट युनियन ऑफ ए अँड बी आर ऑल्सो रेग्युलर लँग्वेज ओके सपोज याच्यामध्ये जो क्लास आहे हा रेग्युलर लँग्वेजच्या अंडर येत असेल किंवा युनियन मध्ये येत असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये जर त्याच्यामध्ये ए आणि बी हे दोन्ही सेट जर रेग्युलर लँग्वेजेस असतील तर त्याच्यामध्ये जे काही युनियन घेणार आहोत तर ते युनियन सुद्धा काय असणार आहे रेग्युलर लँग्वेजच्या अंडर येणार आहे ओके म्हणजे सपोज ए हा सेट रेग्युलर लँग्वेज मध्ये लँग्वेज डिपेंड करत असेल आणि बी हा सेट सुद्धा रेग्युलर लँग्वेज फॉलो करत असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये ए युनियन बी हे सुद्धा काय असणार आहे रेग्युलर असणार आहे रेग्युलर लँग्वेज असणार आहे आणि सेम कॉन्कॅटिनेशन जर याच्यामध्ये ए आणि बी हे टू सेट जर रेग्युलर लँग्वेजेस मध्ये येत असतील तर त्याच्यामध्ये जे त्याचं कॉन्कॅटिनेशन असणार आहे तर ते कॉन्कॅटिनेशन सुद्धा रेग्युलर लँग्वेज असणार आहे ओके 
these are the two theorems and the next one is languages and automata okay so these automata are we are going to study in our next unit so here just uh, this diagram is repeated which is seen our, in our upper uh, grammars okay so these are the languages type 0 follows the automata turing machine then context sensitive or type 1 grammar follows the uh, linear bounded automata then context free or type 2 grammar follows the push down automata and regular or type 3 grammar follows finite automata okay so this this is the last point in our chapter formal languages okay so in this lecture we studied about the operations on languages and the language and automata okay so this is the end of this chapter formal languages so we are move towards the next chapter which is regular set and regular grammar from unit second okay sorry here unit first is completed with formal languages we studied about the next point from unit second so you just overview the syllabus of the unit second okay so here our first unit completed in unit second we are going to study about the chapters regular sets and regular grammar second one is context free languages then push down automata okay so these three chapters are comes under unit second so in this lecture we start our first chapter in unit second which is regular sets and regular grammar and in that chapter the points included that are regular grammar regular expressions finite automata and regular expressions pumping lemma and its applications closure properties regular sets and regular grammar okay so we start this chapter regular set and regular grammar so first of all we studied about the regular grammar ओके रेग्युलर ग्रामर मीन्स टाइप थ्री ग्रामर ओके अपन लास्ट युनिट मध्य बगित हो रेग्युलर ग्रामर का बगित रेग्युलर ग्रामर मध्य दोन टाइप्स है राइट लिनियर ग्रामर एंड लेफ्ट लिनियर ग्रामर ओके हे बस्ट युनिट मध्य अपन हम डेफिनेशन बगित होती चैप्टर मध्य रेग्युलर ग्रामर इज अ मैथमेटिकल ऑब्जेक्ट एंड विच है फोर टपल्स Okay, that is G is equal to G means grammar, and it is denoted by the capital G. So G is equal to n summation P S, where n is the non-empty set of non-terminal symbols. Okay, that is n means non-terminal symbols. Summation means the set of terminal symbols or alphabets. Then P is a set of pro grammar rules. That is production rules. and s is the start symbol okay so he tumhala last chapter madhe zalelo ahe definition just je grammar denote karta okay so every regular grammar describes a regular language and there are two types of the regular grammar that is right linear grammar and left linear grammar okay so here just overview these types right regular grammar is also called as right regular grammar sorry राइट रेग्युलर ग्रामर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज राइट लिनियर ग्रामर दोन नेम है कॉल करू शता सो वॉट इज मीन बाय राइट लिनियर ग्रामर दैट मीन्स इफ एनी ऑफ दी टर्मिनल ओके दैट इज टर्मिनल सीम्बॉल दैट मीन्स स्मॉल लेटर्स और स्मॉल अल्फाबेट्स 
now at the right of the uh, terminal symbol it presents the non terminal symbol then it is called as right linear grammar okay manje jar terminal symbol cha right la jar non terminal symbol asel tar te right linear grammar asto okay so ata ithe baku shakta tumhi a tends to a b okay that is a is terminal and b is non terminal ani left linear grammar madhe baka yacha madhe kay ahe a left linear grammar is also called as left regular grammar and it have the uh, non terminal at the front or at the left of the terminal symbol okay je terminal symbol cha jar left side la non terminal symbol asel tar te left linear grammar asto ki matlab apan left regular grammar asa call karu shakto okay so ya example madhe baku shakta a tends to b a okay so yacha madhe a ha terminal symbol ahe ani tyacha left side la b हा नॉन टर्मिनल सिंबल है तो मुझे लेफ्ट लिनियर ग्रामर है ओके सो दीज आर दी टू टाइप्स ऑफ दी ग्रामर ते एक्जाम्पल्स दिल्ली है तुम्हारा एस टेन्स टू एस बी बी ओके हे बी हा टर्मिनल सिंबल है बी या जे लेफ्ट साइड ला है यस एस हा का है नॉन टर्मिनल सीम्बॉल है ओके सो दिस इज जस्ट दी ओवर यू ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दी रेग्युलर ग्रामर so the next point is regular expression okay so regular expression is useful for representing the set of strings and uh, the regular expression describe the languages accepted by finite automata okay so there are uh, two types there is regular grammar and finite automata okay so the regular grammar is divided into two types right li linear grammar and uh, left linear grammar and in finite automata it divides into with output and without output okay then the with output is divided into mille machines and more machines and without output it divides into dfa and nfa okay so in the right side that is finite automata we just study all the languages or automata that is mille machine more machine dfa nfa okay so at the left side we studied about the regular language and their types okay so the regular expression contains three operations jas apan pathi maga baghitla formal languages madhe operations performed on the languages that is union concatenation and star that three operations are also comes under regular expression and these three operations are union but these are denoted by plus symbol okay not union sign okay union is denoted by plus इन रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन कन्सेप्ट ओके रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन मध्य यूनियन प्लस साइन ने डिनोट के देर इज नो कॉल एज स्टार इज कॉल्ड एज क्लीन क्लोजर ओके सो दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय स्टार देन दीज आर दी थ्री ऑपरेशन सो वी जस्ट overview that particular uh, operations phi and epsilon are an empty set okay so suppose there that some element made empty element asil kiwa tyacha made nothing kahi nasel to tyacha made te phi ya sign ne dakhavle jatat phi means null or epsilon epsilon means also null so okay these are the both regular expression that means phi or epsilon are also comes under the regular expression okay so these regular expression are called as primitive expressions okay so if we take any primitive expressions that is r1 and r2 and apply apply all operations suppose there are two expression that is r1 and r2 then the operations are union operations that is r1 plus r2 okay ya type madhe apan denote karu shakto then concatenation concatenation is denoted as r1 dot R two, okay, and the clean closure is represented as R one star. You just take R two star also. So these are the operations by using the expression. So then next one is rules for regular expressions. That means how to generate the regular expression. So there are some rules which are used for generate that particular regular expressions. Okay, so regular expression are used for representing certain sets of strings in an algebraic fashion. So the rules are: we just 
see overview of that particular rules first of all any terminal symbol that is symbols belong to summation including empty and null are regular expression okay suppose jar yacha madhe summation madhe mhanje set madhe jar empty uh, as summation madhe empty symbols astil kiwa null symbols astil tari sudha te kay asu shakta tar regular expression asu shakta okay then the second rule is the union of two regular expression is also regular expression okay सपोज ये टू रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन है दैट इज आर वन एंड आर टू देन आर वन प्लस आर टू आर ऑल्सो रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके आर वन आर टू दो ही रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन सेपरेटली जर युनियन घट इज आर वन प्लस आर टू देन दैट इज ऑल्सो रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन देन दी नेक्स्ट वन इज दी कॉन्कैटिनेशन ऑफ टू रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑल्सो रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके सपोज ये अगेन अपन कन्सिडर के आर वन आर टू दो ही सेपरेटली रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन जे कॉन्कैटिनेशन तो कॉन्कैटिनेशन सुधा रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन है दैट मीन्स आर वन डॉट आर टू इज ऑल्सो रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन देन नेक्स्ट रूल इज द इटरेशन और क्लोजर ऑफ रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन is also a regular expression okay suppose r is a regular expression then r star is also a regular expression and the next last rule is the regular expression over summation are precisely those obtained recursively by application of above rules once or several times okay so regular expressions can be uh, determined by using the above rules and at uh, several times or many times okay so for example these rules are used and uh, some of the examples on uh, regular expressions are given here so describe the following sets as regular expression okay suppose there is a set 0 1 2 okay this is set then r is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus symbol denotes odd then epsilon ab R is equal to epsilon a b. Here we not used plus symbol. Okay, so these operations are we just identify from the particular set. Then the next point is regular set. Any set represented by regular expression is called as regular set. Okay, that is what we say. एक्सप्रेशन सेट वरुन फाइंड आउट के रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन वरुन जो सेट फाइंड आउट के तो सेट रेग्युलर सेट ओके हे बेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन का फॉर एक्जाम्पल इक्वेशन दिस प्लस डॉट आ स्टार यूज के लिए इक्वेशन है रेग्युलर इक्वेशन है सॉरी रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन है कि ज्यादा मे युनियन कॉन्कैटिनेशन क्लीन क्लोजर यूज के टाइप मध्य अपन रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन काू शो तो जनरेट करू शो रेग्युलर सेट का एनी सेट रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन जो सेट रिप्रेजेंट करतो तो सेट मे रेग्युलर सेट ओके फॉर एक्जाम्पल ए बी बिलॉन्ग्स टू समेशन ओके ए बी समेशन मध्य देन ए डिनोट्स दी सेट ए ओके देन ए प्लस बी डिनोट्स सेट ए कॉमा बी देन ए बी denotes a comma b a star denotes the set a epsilon a double a triple a four times a fifth times a okay manje yacha madhe baka jeva apan a jar consider kela tar tyacha madhe set madhe ekach value asnar ahe a okay suppose apan a plus b ghetlela asel tar tyacha madhe donni hi values ghyavay lagnar ahet karan tyacha madhe apan donni hi use kelele ahet a and b okay tar tyacha varun jo set create honar ahe to set ahe a comma b okay जेव अपन कॉन्कैटिनेशन घेट इज ए बी कि ए डॉट बी सुधा दो सीम्बॉल्स यूज के लिए जी ए बी जो सेट क्रिएट हो रहा है तो है ए कॉमा बी देन ए स्टार दैट इज क्लीन क्लोजर ओके हियर बी इज नॉट प्रेजेंट हे बी नहीं है पे ए स्टार घर ए मल्टीपल टाइम्स वैल्यूज अपन हे जनरेट करू शो जो सेट क्रिएट हो रहा है तो, तो सेट इतने का है एप्सिल ए डबल ए ट्रिपल ए फोर फोर टाइम्स ए फिफ्थ टाइम्स ए ओके 
so this is the regular set for the particular regular expression a star okay then the language is denoted by lr okay ata tumhala pude disel ki lr asa ka use kelela hai tar language which is generated by the regular expression r okay so this is the symbol to denote the languages which comes from the regular expressions okay so we just see the some of the examples depends upon the sets by regular expression okay suppose there is a language l which contains set of all strings zeros and ones ending with 0 0 okay तर आपल्याला याच्यामध्ये लँग्वेज काय दिलेली आहे की तर सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग म्हणजे याच्यामध्ये अशा स्ट्रिंगचा सेट असणार आहे की ज्याच्यामध्ये ज्या स्ट्रिंगचं एंडिंग हे झिरो झिरो असेल मग त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही झिरो आणि वन युज करताय तर त्याच्यामध्ये त्या स्ट्रिंगचं पर्टिक्युलर एंडिंग हे काय असलं पाहिजे तर झिरो झिरो ओके दॅट इज सेट ऑफ ऑल स्ट्रिंग ऑफ झिरो अँड वन ओके देट इज नो ऑर दॅट इज झिरो अँड वन एंडिंग इन झिरो झिरो सो मल्टीपल टाइम्स वी यूज झिरो अँड वन अँड बट एंडिंग इज विथ झिरो झिरो सो दी लँग्वेज इज एल वन विच इज इक्वल टू झिरो प्लस वन स्टार झिरो झिरो ओके दॅट मीन्स री यूज ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन दॅट इज झिरो अँड वन ॲट मिनि ॲट एव्हरी टाइम वी यूज झिरो अँड वन अँड वी वॉन्ट अप टू दॅट कंडिशन वी यूज दी झिरो अँड वन सो दी अनदर वन इज L2 set of all strings of 0 and is beginning with 0 and ending with 1 okay tar ta dusro example kay dilela hai ki tyacha madhe set of all string mhanje asha string cha set asnar ahe ki tyacha madhe ta tya string cha beginning he 0 pasun asla pahije okay mhanun yacha madhe ha starting kiti ghetlela ahe 0 l2 cha starting ahe 0 and ending with 1 mhanje ya string cha ending kiti zala pahije tar 1 zala pahije आणि त्याच्या मिडल मध्ये तुम्ही एनिथिंग म्हणजे त्याच्यामध्ये कोणतंही कॉम्बिनेशन घेऊ शकता मग तुम्ही झिरोचं कॉम्बिनेशन असेल वनचं कॉम्बिनेशन असेल किंवा झिरो वन कॉम्बिनेशन असेल कोणत्याही टाईपचं कॉम्बिनेशन मिडल मध्ये असू शकतं पण कंडिशन काय आहे याच्यामध्ये तर बिगिनिंग हे झिरो न असलं पाहिजे आणि एंडिंग हे वन न असलं पाहिजे ओके सो दिस इज दी अनादर एक्झाम्पल सपोज दी अनादर एक्झाम्पल इज एल थ्री एपसिलॉन अँड दी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वन ओके दॅट इज क्लीन क्लोजर okay so the expression regular expression which generates from this uh, language is 1 1 star okay ithe baghu shakta 1 1 star mhanje 1 1 che combinations yacha madhe create kelele ahe so yacha madhe ajun hi example dilele ahet baka set of all string which are which are having length exactly 2 find regular expression mhanje yacha madhe set dilele ahe summation ab पण याच्यामध्ये असे रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन हवे की ज्याच्यामध्ये फक्त टू लेंथ सेट्स आले पाहिजेत किंवा टू लेंथ त्याच्यामध्ये इलिमेंट्स घेऊ शकतो तर आता याच्यामध्ये ए बी आहे तर याच्यामध्ये फक्त दोनच त्याच्यामध्ये सिम्बॉल येणारे कॉम्बिनेशन कोणते असू शकतात तर ए ए ए बी बी ए किंवा बी बी एवढेच कॉम्बिनेशन येऊ शकतात ओके सो याच्यामध्ये बघा हे जर रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन फाइंड आउट करायचं असेल तर याच्यामध्ये आपण काय करू शकतो तर ए बी किंवा दॅट इज ए ए ए बी जर या ब्रॅकेट मधून या ब्रॅकेट मध्ये मल्टिप्लाय केलं तर बघा म्हणजे सेपरेट केलं तर याच्यामध्ये एक कॉम्बिनेशन मिळेल दॅट इज ए प्लस बी अँड ए प्लस बी दॅट इज रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन सो सपोज वी वॉन्ट ऍटलिस्ट टू देन इट जनरेट दी रेग्युलर एक्सप्रेशन ए ए ए बी बी ए पी पी and triple a and that is language is infinite language that is a plus b dot a plus b and a plus b star okay so these are the another examples which depends upon the uh, regular expression okay so suppose there is an example ends with a okay then the regular expression is a plus b star a okay then starting and ending with different symbols then this is a a plus b star b or b a plus b star a okay 
ओके या टाइप मध्ये आपण हे कॉम्बिनेशन्स याच्यामध्ये क्रिएट करू शकतो देन देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आइडेंटिटीज ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशंस आर अवेलेबल ओके सो यू जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट आइडेंटिटीज बिकॉज इट वन ऑफ द आइडेंटिटीज आर आस्किंग फॉर मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन और फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज 5 प्लस वन सॉरी फाइव प्लस आर इज इक्वल टू आर दैट इज नल वैल्यूज देन फाइव आर प्लस आर फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव दैट इज यूनियन एंड कॉन्केटिनेशन इज फाइव देन एप्सिलॉन आर इज इक्वल टू आर एप्सिलॉन विच इज इक्वल टू आर ओके एप्सिलॉन स्टार इज इक्वल टू एप्सिलॉन एंड फाइव आर फाइव स्टार इज इक्वल टू एप्सिलॉन then the another one is r plus r is equal to r then the next regular uh, identity is r star r star is equal to r star then r r star which is equal to r star r okay we just uh, uh, replace it okay that is first is second and second is first then uh, clean closure of r star is equal to r star that is clean closure then you just uh, read that particular uh, identities there are 12 identities of the regular expressions so you just read it and uh, remember that particular identities okay so these are the points which we cover in the today's lecture so first of all we just study about the regular grammar then regular expressions and the operations which performed on the regular expression then rules for regular expression then regular set then identities of regular expression okay so these are the points then the in uh, next lecture we studied about the ardens theorem then finite automata and regular expression okay so in today's lecture we just stop here okay thank you